both felt like what we had was very much worth fighting for, and to her, it was worth dying for. Mina liked pink a lot. That was her signature color. If she could have put the world in pink, she would have done that. Sarah was more of the tomboy, really reserved. I don't think I ever saw Sarah without a smile on her face. We were just attracted to each other. On every level, we were just connected. She was the kind of person I could have had the worst day. Within a minute of being around her, nothing else mattered. She just had a very strong presence about her. All she really said was that her dad was strict. And the relationship progressed. She would tell me more and more horror stories about him, basically. I was with my sister, and my mom called me and told me that Amina said that her dad had touched her. She was so afraid of Yasser, she would not even use a public telephone because she said he gets in everywhere, he knows everything. My mother came into my room and she woke me up and she was like, I have to tell you something horrible. How do you tell your child that the love of his life is no more? I couldn't believe it. Like, it was just so surreal. He clearly would have had to have a plan on how to get out of town. How can you have that much blood on you and walk away from a crime scene without nobody seeing you? Somebody picked him up. I don't think he ever left the States. I believe he's been here the whole time. And now for the first time, the FBI says this may have been an honor killing. The shame that the family feels because of the woman's behavior causes them to kill her to restore the honor. We had eye contact. He had a cap over his head, but he still had his mustache.